I'm back again with another tutorial, and this time on how to downgrade your bootloader, which is this fabulous white screen that HTC has invented. So it pretty much controls everything that you do on your phone, including the security. Now with the granted security off, which was like ages ago, last year June, almost a year ago, we could have full access to the device. So for people like me who like to go back to stock and modify a device for giggles, um, this is very useful as it may help you uh, restore to a ROM update utility or RUU uh, for an older version. So in this case, since we've updated all the way to KitKat and they haven't released a uh, ROM update utility for it, I have to use the one from Jellybean 4.1.2 and that is doesn't work well with uh, HBoot 1.56. So I'll be showing you how to downgrade it back to 1.44 which was the very first one I believe that came with the HTC One, so let's get started. Yeah. Okay. So you want to get into the bootloader and plug in your phone like this. Make sure you have all the drivers installed. Uh, if you haven't and you need it, you can download my toolkit, which is available on XDA Developers. I'll put that down below. Or you can watch my rooting tutorial as well. Yeah, they both have drivers. So now it says fast boot USB. And now onto the computer. Let's, yeah, let's put this down. So what you want to do is you want to download the Android Tools zip. I provided a link down below. And once you extract it, you're going to see all these except for start.jar. That's something else. So you want to hold shift and right click and then go down to open command window here. Very useful actually. And it'll open up to the path of where the folder is. So very easy. So first, you want to type in. I'll just zoom in a bit more. Let's make it very clear. So you want to type in fast boot uh, OEM reboot RUU. Make sure RUU is in capital letters. And yeah. So now it should boot into this silver HCC screen. Zoom back out just tiny bit, tiny bit. Next, what you want to type in is fast boot. Fastboot flash zip. Now you want to leave it as that and go to the other download link and you would download this file, this zip file here, the 1.44 hboot. I'll provide a link down below. I think it's from the hcc1guru.com. One as in the number one, not O N E. Alright, so this is what you want to do. You just want to move this to the side a little bit and just drag this on. Just like that. It'll insert the file path very easily. And press enter. So it's going to check the model ID, which of course it will accept everything. And you're going to see, hang on, why is this stuck at three and fourth quarters? Why? That's it's a security feature implemented, so you can check, you can read the console output, see if anything went wrong before you restart your phone. So you still have a chance to fix it, I presume. So down here it says successful, so I'm all set to go. Now all you have to do is type in fastboot reboot. And I'll restart your phone. I should have done to the bootloader. That was a bit silly, so I'm going to hold down the buttons here. Yeah, that was very silly. So we'll type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader instead of this. So it's just going to boot back into Omni. You see the white lights flash. Okay, so it's launched into safe mode. Don't worry. So yeah, my mistake, you're supposed to type in reboot bootloader. So I'm just going to reboot back into the bootloader. Won't be a hassle. And we'll verify that we're on 1.44 safely. Ta-da! 1.44! Excellent. So everything still works, it's fine. And next, what you can do is now download the RUU the ROM update utility for your device and run it while well, your phone is plugged in into the bootloader. No need to reboot into the the RUU bootloader menu, I guess. And that's it. You just leave it to run. So that's it for this tutorial. I'll be back with more ROM flashing and modifying techniques for this because of the new all new HTC One coming out very soon. The Samsung Galaxy S5 was kind of like the iPhone 5S. Just saying, no hate, 
I love Samsung, not really, but I do enjoy what they do. I like the circles for the chat heads when, for the message app, I really like that. So if you get a pop like this, just click yes, or OK, or next. I'm sure it says yes. And since it's like gigabyte now, it's crazy, uh, you just want to leave it there, wait for the window to pop up and extract all the files, and you should be good to go. You'll be back with a fully stocked device. So yeah, that's it for this video. hope you enjoyed it. If you like this, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to see more. Uh, see you guys next time.